Hi, and welcome to Early Animal Crossing. You may hear my dishwasher. That's the name of the game. Early Animal Crossing, colon, you may hear my dishwasher. I'll move away from the dishwasher now. Hi, everybody. Um, today, we're going to do early stream of Animal Crossing because I just want to play it. I haven't played it since last night, and I want to play uh, before I make dinner tonight. And so we'll do that, and then maybe later I'll play some more Doom. I'm not sure. But it'll be good. Yeah, it took a lot of restraint not to play this game, but I figured let me do the bulk of the beginning of the game all on stream before I start going off on my own and playing it. So. Hi, everybody. Someone said, I can't believe RimWorld got shafted. <laughs> That'll be probably tomorrow. Vin, are you okay in New York City? Um, yeah, I'm fine. Just in, like I said, just home. Let me get a... Let me get a beverage. Enjoy the intro. I'll be right back. Vinny, you sound a little different. Wait, do I sound a little younger and older? Interesting. I'm also now broadcasting at a better bitrate. I did sleep very well, thank you. Last night was a good sleep. Um, instead of RimWorld keeping me up, I uh, played Doom Eternal before bed so that I had pleasant dreams instead. Vinny, you sound like you're about to sell me Crystal Skull Vodka. Incorrect, it's called Crystal Head Vodka. Absolutely 100% incorrect. Hello everyone. Starting today, I'll be doing an island-wide broadcast full of updates being furnished with many informations. I'll go over some things that are very important to island life, so lend me your island ears for a short time. But yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to see much of a difference in Animal Crossing, but Doom's gonna look better. I got some better bitrate, and I've got a different um, graphics processing thing or whatever. So um, it'll it'll look good. Um, and you'll probably get some excellent detail on Tom Nook's face. But, yeah, it'll, it's just, it's gonna work a lot better with games that move fast. Uh, cause I watched my footage of Doom last night, and it was, the audio was slightly ahead. Not a big deal, I can fix that next time, no problem. And I thought the visuals got a little smeared, so I figured out, uh, with the help of Desert and Sphinx how to do it, and it's good. Vinny, your voice is faster. I love when I first start streaming, and people are like, Vinny, what's your voice? Why is it faster, younger, and older? Um, it's amazing. And I still don't understand what it means. Um, okay, so, daily ritual of doozy. A doozy of an island announcement. The Hoor Island Airport is now open for business. Starting today, you can use online or local communication to fly to other islands for a visit. That's not all. No, 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 no. The airport counter now offers postal services. And just like the resident services center, the airport is open 24 hours a day, so please drop by for a look. One other item. This, too, is a whopper. This very day, a brilliant fellow by the name of Blathers will be joining us on Hoor Island. Blathers has a keen interest in biology, past and present. He's here to study Hoor Island. I sincerely hope everyone lends their cooperation. Inquisitive residents should stop by his tent for details. And Deedlemores, as well. Um, okay, so anyone wondering about my voice sounding a certain way, it's probably, this is the last time I'll address it for today, but it's probably the Twitch player trying to catch up. It's happened to others, it fixes itself, apparently. Oh, video game mom. Whenever I see a plane, I think of you and wave with those airborne strangers with all my might. I had no idea how many flights took off each day. My arm is exhausted. I mean, this isn't in poor taste, right?
If anything, it's a PSA. Hello there. I like how Timmy and Tommy just wander. Oh, Vine, it's good to see you. How are you enjoying island life? Have you spent much time exploring the beach, Vine? Timmy and Resident Services will buy any of the shells that wash up there, so you should collect some. There are also some clams that are buried in the sand. To find them, watch the beach very closely, dig them up with a shovel when you see water sprouting up. So there's some good clamming to be done, Vine. Alright, clam yourself. Man, this island really sprouts weeds. Someone said, that's cool and all, but where's Scoot? There will be Scoot. I know we have the earlier stream chat here, but I'm watching you, chat. You you better be on your best behave. What's this? I guess I need a shovel for that? It's a glowing spot. Do these rocks regenerate? So if I eat a cherry... The glowing spots were in the first game. They look different though, no? The rock just is destroyed. I don't want to destroy all my rocks. They grow back. Vinny, don't break them. They do every day. They regenerate one a day. Okay, so no more breaking rocks. We need some more, uh, wood. So I can build some extra things. But yeah, I've only played this about, uh, two hours last night, almost. Oof. Goodbye, flimsy axe. Nice knowing ya. I need to hire someone on this island to pick all these weeds, my god. Frog! Sup, you know, where are you headed? What's the latest? Word is that, except for the plaza, we're allowed to plop furniture down wherever and whenever we like. Kind of want to stick a bench and a vending machine somewhere to, like, make a cool hangout spot for folks. What about you? I say, if you got an idea for the island, then go make it happen, you know? You can sell a bunch of weeds to Timmy for Nook Miles. Yeah, I think I did some of that last night. I'm not sure if I got the... best Chivo for it, but... So we'll see. Um, let's go visit Blathers real quick. This will be the museum at some point, I guess. Who? A pleasure to meet you. My name is Blathers. I'm exceedingly interested in the ecosystem of this island, thus I have come to conduct research, if you will. Ah, could it be that you are Vine, the personage who has chose the location for this tent? I am. A splendid job indeed. Thanks to you, I was able to alight, alight on this island with nary a ruffled feather. Now, regarding the aforementioned research, truth be told, I'm determined to open a museum and henceforth dwell on this island amongst you. So you should discover a new type of insect, do, or fish, do be so kind as to bring it here. And I plan to exhibit these creatures as well as those you gave Tom Nuke in the museum upon its completion. Though I confess there is one smallish problem regarding said museum. I like the number of exhibits needed to secure permission to open a museum proper. Empty display cases will not do, and I'm told. Display cases with something to display, that is another matter. Which is where you come in. What, what? Allow me to explain. You see, it is not only insects and fish I plan to display in my esteemed institution, but fossils, too. Wow, five Animal Crossing games later, and I didn't know that. I knew that. Who? Poor. As it happens, there sits a substantial stretch of land beyond the river. I would bet my pin feathers this primitive plot is flush with fossils I require. But the river, you say? I can't just hop over it, you say. Who? Silly you, I have a solution. As audacious as trying to populate an entirely deserted island. Pardon me, Vine, while I transmit... The vital data to your Nook phone. Uh, 
Sir, you see, with wood gathered from Hoor Island, one can make a lengthy vaulting pole. Spock, this pole can be used to propel oneself across the river. Up and over you go, hooty hoo. I sent DIY schematics for a shovel to dig fossils from the ground as well, which brings me to my point. Please, Vine, cross the river and seek out these ancient relics. My feathers. I have blathered on for far too long, but let me leave you with this. If I am to open the museum, I must acquire more items to exhibit 15 more to be precise. I fervently hope you will donate your precious finds to this cause. Marvelous, what would you like to donate? A pill bug? The horror, the repugnance, good heavens. Uh, ahem, I beg your pardon, bugs, I do detest them. Still, there's much to tell you. I can tell you about the insect you apprehended. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. In that case, <clears throat> the pill bug. Children delight at the way these beasts roll into balls when poked. But the appeal is utterly lost to me. One look at their leggy undersides. Ooh, ugh, how they wriggle. Young pill bugs shed their exoskeletons as they grow, and in doing so, sprout another pair of legs. As if twelve appendages weren't alarming enough. Yuck, I say, yuck. Any hoot, my sincerest thanks for your donation. Though bugs are the bane of my existence, rah, rest assured the wretched thing will get the best of care here. Fourteen donations left. Um, Arnold posted a new thing today. You know, Arnold's been going mental by posting stuff on his Twitter for, uh, you know, all this uh, quarantine stuff, right? So he, we got another new thing. So, uh, he contributed this. You know this thing that's been going around, chat, of the, uh, celebrities being completely tone deaf and singing Imagine? You know, in their mansions? Imagine the thing that it, everyone seems to be united in and hating. If you try. Check this out. Get up, come on, get down with it, this sickness. Yeah, 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 look at this, I have a donkey here. <laughs> He's looking at the pool. Imagine all. <laughs> down with it, this. Get up, come on, get down with it, this sickness. <laughs> yeah, 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 look at this, I have a donkey here. He's looking at the pool. Thanks, Arnold. Donkey here. Someone said, okay, this is fake, but still good. I don't want to ruin the illusion. But yeah, it's fake. It's Will Sasso, who's got a really fucking good Arnold, comedy Arnold impression. <laughs> Should I craft something? No, let's craft. Uh, there it is, vaulting pole. I know, totally ruined. The illusion has been spoosioned. Some hardwood for that. But why do the trees have different types of wood? It's, it's, it's kind of strange, but boy, this game is nice and peaceful, and it looks fantastic in the evening hours, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, love the environmental light diffusion so much. Vinny, did you scan Scoot's Amiibo yet? No, I will. Oh, you mean the card, right? Yeah, I will. Scoot will be here. Vinny, why is my sky greener than yours? Uh, pollution? Where's your town? What are you guys producing? 
You guys down with the sickness over at your island? Yeah. Time zones, kryptonite. It's kryptonite fog from Superman 64. It's in a virtual world to stop Superman. Um, I would like to build a storage unit as quickly as possible. You might want to keep Bella away from your island. The Plague Rat will never be a part of this island. Vinny, you're going to want a house first? Oh, uh, okay. Alright, fair enough. I thought maybe I could get a storage unit, you know, like a, like a little dresser or something. Early. Wait, so the glowing spots were definitely in the game? They weren't just, like, little holes? Were they glowy holes? Vinny, plant it again. Vinny, no. Is it too late? It's, it's too late to replant that? Um, try it. Why is chat angry? I don't know, they you know, you gotta play the game a specific way sometimes. You're supposed to plant 10,000 bells in those. Oh, okay. Well, I don't have that anyway. Thanks, though. You're looking out for me, chat. You know, I appreciate that. You just want me to have the best island experience possible. If you plant, it produces money. Well, that was like that in the older games, so... Where's the, the... there it is. Yeah, butterfly. Yes! Tiger butterfly, I've earned my stripes. This is the first time I've seen the rest of the island chat. And we're full, so I need to... I need to fish up another boot so I can build the boots. But uh, I'm gonna sell some crap first. Yeah. I'm gonna sell. Uh, you want some weeds? Um, should I sell the gold nugget? Maybe. Any reason not to? I'm gonna say I'm gonna sell it for now because I don't have a lot of room. You'll get another one. Yeah, I, I don't have the room for it right this second, so I'm gonna sell it. I mean, my inventory's already clusterfucked, and yet I can't think of a single thing. You know what? Fuck you, Umbrella. I don't need the Umbrella. I need as much inventory room as I can get right now. What do you have for sale? You've got a picnic picnic basket and a director's chair. Then mm. he pressed the right button. Oh, I didn't even see that. Hang on a minute. All oh, right, flowers and DIY for beginners, flimsy axe. Flimsy watering can, slingshot. I guess I have all that already. So this is mainly just tools. Uh, I could get a watering can. I'm not going to bother right this second. What will you take? Nothing. Um, boy, you just get nook miles for everything. I think I sold enough weed. Yeah, I got enough... 
sold enough weed to get 300. I'm almost ready to pay off my tent. Just need to, like, get one more thing. Oh, well, there it is. <laughs> Garden lantern. It's kind of nice. Vinny, what's your Switch friend code? I want you to appreciate that I appreciate you, chat member, but that is going to be something that isn't really going to happen. I barely play games online. I really don't. Uh, with I've already gotten probably about 40, 50 requests for that. So I just, I don't, I can't keep up. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. Vinny, you can open your island with a password so people don't get your friend code. Well, I don't really want to open my island. <laughs> I don't, it's going to be like Smash where like, you know, 400 people try to get in and then everyone complains that they can't get in. I'm good to just play the game like this. It's fine. You'd like to pay your moving fees. Very well, you owe 5,000 miles. Well, here you go. Thank you so much. Indeed, that is 5,000 miles and not a mile less. With that, your move-in feeds have been paid in full. This is a happy day for us both. Yes, yes, you're free and clear of debt, living on a thriving scenic island. What could be better? A house would be better. That wasn't actually a rhetorical question. Let me be more specific. How is that tent treating you? Could be better. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Ah, but no one ever has said that developing an island paradise would be easy, but we don't do things because they're easy, hmm? We do them because they are profitable. It's got, Tom Nook is a Ferengi. From Star Trek. Well, if you're growing weary of life in a tent, yes, yes, I suppose the time is right to discuss the possibility of building custom homes. Now, certain challenges to building a fabulous home in a remote location such as this. Challenges that do translate directly into costs, I'm afraid. But with zero interest financing and extremely lax repayment plan, anything is possible. So, Vine, if you ever find yourself interested in a new home, do come see me. Oh, one more thing to share. We have Miles Redemption Service for the Nook Miles you've collected. When you access the Nook Stop, you'll be able to redeem your miles for lots of interesting things. So be sure to check it out sometime soon, hmm? Well then, I hope you continue to enjoy your getaway li uh, package life. I got miles from paying miles. Have you made a decision about home ownership, ready to move forward into comfort and luxury? Luxury! As fun as living in a tent can be, a house gives you more space, helps you put down roots. Now, building a house means taking a new loan, the amount of 98,000 bells. So, what do you think? Ready to build your own home? Yeah. Thank you for your business. I'll get construction started right away. By the way, you get to choose from eight different colors for the roof. Could you please select a roof color from this list? I'm not exactly a creative person when it comes to colors. Green is fine. One more thing. Homeowners get automatic Nook Mileage program upgrade. Give me one moment, hmm? I'd like to place my house someplace else, though. I want to put it on the island. I've updated your program membership details. Now, when you use Nook Miles, you'll have access to all the Nook Miles Plus benefits. Nook Miles Plus include a nifty way to earn additional miles for special circumstances. You'll see the details when you launch the app, so please give it a look when you can. That's all from me. Your wonderful new home should be ready tomorrow. Quite exciting, yes? Also, I have the app for designs. If anyone has any cool designs, you can tweet them over to me. Especially a Danny DeVito app. Uh, not app. Is there a Danny DeVito app? I'd, I'd download that app. Um, Danny DeVito flag. Nook Miles for Miles. Nook Miles Plus. Plant trees. Plant flower seeds. Catch a horse mackerel. Redoom Nook Miles. Earn bells by selling items. Well, there's a million ways to get these miles, huh? Damn. You get miles for getting miles. Vinny, did you sleep well? I did. 
I was playing Doom in my uh, sleep, in my dreams. So chat, um, the house is gonna be built here, or like, I'd like to build it on this island. I want my own island. You can move it later, okay. Yeah, you really start off with so little in this particular iteration of Animal Crossing, but it just makes earning everything that much more rewarding. The pockets are full. Wait, no, I already have. No? Can't stack the Venus combs? I love that you can see the islands in the distance. Which one of you has the island in the left there? Vinny, your bells. Alright. Yeah. Hell's bells. Satan's calling for you! best rock graphics I've ever seen in Animal Crossing. I need to do fishing to get another boot. Yeah, this game is definitely a nice looking game. Peaceful. Peacefully nice looking. Simple. Oh, wow, boot! Oh, that was a conch. And not what I thought was a, um... A Venus comb. I guess I'm just going to wear two shitty boots. Buy the inventory upgrade with 5k miles. Oh man, we're, we're a little far from that, sadly, but yeah, I'd like to. What do, what do we need this for? Big boots. Coming for you, big boots. Now I have the fucking disgusting river boots. Someone said the hoarding has begun. Yes, it has. Big boots. I definitely would like that inventory upgrade. <clears throat> for sure. Trash fishing! Why, wow, you even get miles for just, like, garbage. Can appreciate that this this game hoard rewarder there's a reward for hoarding big boots a 
I believe that's a Tom Yorkie song. Tom, sorry, Tom Yorkie. God, I had a present. It's just pears. Okay, I'll sell those. Make some extra bell, bellage. Did I not sell this gold nugget? Ah, I was positive I sold this gold nugget. No, I, I'm going to plant them. I'm not going to sell them. You even get miles for that, too. Is this too close to another tree? Vinny, you can move the tree now. Do I have to eat a cherry? Vinny, plant the nugget? Do you- wait, no. No. Gold tree? No, I don't believe that for a second. Of tree. I, I like the tree relocation program that we have going on here. I'm a big fan. Mental. Absolutely mental that you can do that. I didn't really like the spot that was in anyway. It was preventing me from... Like, moving... a bit. Better. You can drag outside furniture. Vinny, I dug a hole, then buried a shovel in it, in this game, so that my shovel breaks. I could be mad at myself, because I can't get to the extra shovel without first making a new shovel. What the fuck are you talking about? Do you need assistance? Is life alert not working? I guess you just build a new shovel, then dig up the old shovel. There's no such thing as a shovel tree. Hey, Louie, how you doing? Yo, I'm pumped about that spot you helped me pick out for my tent. Thanks for the push. I hope we can keep looking out for each other like this. It's good to have buddies. hoo hoo ah. Alright, I've got something here for you. hoo hoo ah. Thanks again for finding a place for my place. That explorer's hat is perfect for Hoor Island. You can try it on by pressing X to open up your pockets, then pressing A to select the item you want. Choose where. Thank you. Uncle Luigi. I'll wear the hat for now. Just to free up inventory room. I don't want to, like, get rid of it while this dude's, like, right here. But that was very nice of you. In fact, why don't we have another conversation? What do you need? 
Hey, isn't that the hat I gave you? Looks great, really shows off your head muscle. <laughs> What's up? This place gets me so pumped, the breeze, the crashing waves, nature all around us. It's all awesome. I just want to jog laps around the island and catch fish and bugs and lift, 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 and lift. hoo hoo Can't wait for Scoot to show up. And they will become natural rivals. Vinny, do you think Scoot will remember you? No. The Deetlemores of my existence have been lost forever. Yeah, there's a brain wipe every time a new Animal Crossing game comes out. It's like reincarnation. Yeah, Deetlemores. It's more details than details, which has the word less in it. In my dream, at least, it did. A while back. I had a dream... Some of you already know this. Most of you already know this, but I had a dream, like, a week ago, that the word details was spelled different, and I invented a new word, because details in my dream was spelled D-E-A-T-L-E-S-S -S or something, and I figured if there's detail less, if you have detail mores, that means there's more details. I know, I'm stupid. Here, I had another dream recently, two nights ago, that I forgot to tell you. It was not much of one, but I wrote it down. Um, just the basic outline. Which, as you know, my dreams lately have been pretty stupid. So here's one. Jim Carrey quizzes me on the dinosaur that was in the water. March 19th, 2020. What does that mean? I don't, I don't even know what that means! There's a present here. I need to construct a slingshot immediately. Fuck. Will it go away if I go inside and then, then come back out? I guess we're gonna find out. very quickly. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of bells. Thanks. Thank you. If it's still floating after entering a building, I will be impressed. And if not, I will return this game. Gone. I will return to this game, is what I wanted to say. I will just return to it, no problem. Fucker. Okay, we're good. More things to sell. I already had a tiger butterfly, right? Oh, yellow butterfly, okay. That's different.
There's just now shoes on the ground. Fine. Try to get that museum open today. But, I mean, it's just so addictive to sell the weed. It's like the most boring task, yet I'm still having fun doing it. It's crazy. How does Animal Crossing convince me that menial tasks are fun? I don't- I don't understand. I'm under its spell. I smog the weed. Yes, I- my name is Dracula. Yes. Most of this side of the island is free of weed. Oh! Huh? My pockets are already full. Oh. Message in a bottle. My style- dear, dear person I don't know, my style is legit always on my mind. I'm always asking, am I operating at peak me? <laughs> so here's a special recipe that'll let you look however you want, whenever you want. Use this to glitz up your style. The cutest artisan pom-pom. <laughs> Worth it. I see that clams. I see that clams in there. Delete the frog. Some people don't like the frog, I've noticed. Tiger butterfly. Uh, would you like to learn more? Let's see, in that case, tiger butterflies are known for their majestic wings, which many consider quite beautiful. Truth be told, I find them monstrous. Those strange striped patterns that give this owl the goosebumps. While you may imagine young tiger butterfly larvae to look like lovely green caterpillars, I'm alive! I'm born! It's not so. Why, when tiger butterflies are but babes, they're covered in unsightly white, brown, and black spots. In this way, they camouflage themselves as bird droppings. Putrid pests, indeed. We learn through video games. Maybe I can answer Jim Carrey's, um, quiz if I donate this fossil. Ooh, indeed, there can be no doubt this is a fossil. Incredible, wonderful, remarkable. My intuition was impeccable. There are fossils on this island. But I digress. Back to the matter at wing. You must assess your fabulous find. Let me see here. Hmm, indeed. Hoo hoo, this is most assuredly a spino torso. My feathers, what a fabulous find. Or fossil. The spino torso will be a sizable step toward opening the museum. I wonder, would you perhaps consider donating this ancient relic? <laughs> Spinosaurus was a very large carnivorous dinosaur, roughly the size of a T-Rex. Unlike its more famous cousin, however, Spinosaurus seems to have spent a great deal of time in water. Similar to modern crocodiles, this creature lived on a diet of fish and land-dwelling animals. Personally, I'm simply re relieved that it did not seek flying prey. Yeah, in the dream, I, I think it was a water dinosaur, so maybe that was the one. I think I answered him by saying it was a Plesioth, which I don't believe is real, and I think that's only in Monster Hunter, but I'm not sure. Plesiosaurus is real. Yellow butterfly. Okay. 
Allow me to enlighten you. The yellow butterfly is named for its yellowy wings. Yellow wings, need I say more? If I must, then allow me to note that the female yellow butterfly can lay up to 600 eggs at a time. Blech! The creepy crawly caterpillars just love to chomp on clover plants. A recipe for disaster, I say. Just imagine reaching a four-leaf clover only to touch a larva instead. Yuck, worst of luck. Any hoot, my sincerest thanks. Eleven more donation. Donate shots. Dude always has to let us know how many... How much he hates insects. Fruit. Roots. Unparable pair. First time buyer. Grow fruit trees. Gonna make this town look nice and get miles and bells. I'm just the thing this town needed. This I- sorry, this deserted island needed. I wonder if I can fish up a chunk of flesh. Uh, it's a reference to a game I played. People are confused. No, no, it's a game reference. I caught a dace. Hope I have some space. Oh, they're resorting to rhymes now. I guess they've always rhymed. It's just puns and rhymes. Then again, that's the bulk of my streaming, so... Vinny, you should plant a fish tree. They didn't say you should plant one, they just said fish tree, and I inserted the other part, but... Yeah, I'm down. Yes! Sea butterfly. Try not to confuse it for a sea moth. What, like the ship from... Subiotica? Can I donate a clam? Manila clam. Manila is my favorite flavor of clam. This manila clam can be used as fishing bait. I've got an idea for a DIY recipe. Sadly not. You cannot. You can... you cannot. But... Bait? In an Animal Crossing game? Really? Um, I was gonna craft the mirror, but now I can't. Or I can, but I don't have room for it. God damn it. 
so many things. So, so this is new? Scatter food? Spam A to speed up the crafting animation. Present. It spawns a fish. Oh. Please, no balloon furniture. Please, dear God. Outdoor air conditioner. N no. No. Now, how is that in a little balloon? I wonder. Asking too many questions, I see. The Animal Crossing police. It will be here shortly. I guess that's fine. Probably gonna get rid of that at some point. But Vinny, how could you screw up fishing in baby games? I don't know. You, you just- it's- it's- you play yourself. That's the problem. You play yourself. Again, you need now. I need a thousand wheat. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of weeds. A full thousand weeds. Oh, yes. Vinny, where is guns for shoot in this baby game? Uh, well, I can get scoot, but not shoot. I'll do that next. Or I'll try to, at least. Okay, I have, um... Some more fish. Might interest- man, I interest you in a few fascinating facts. Okay, so... Dace are shiny little fish that enjoy freshwater streams with gravelly bottoms and plenty of sunlight. What a fishy paradise. Until the larger fish move in and begin eating the dace. Sadly, the shiny dace are easy for other fish to spot, which makes them a popular snack. However, this particular specimen here has no need to worry. There's a strict no-eating-your-neighbor policy at this institution. And there you have it. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. Okay, such mystery, such grace. Did you know the sea butterfly's scientific name is 
Thikasa Soma. It's not even close to what that says. It's Thikas Thikasomara. Thikasomara. A very rough translation of that is shell body. Indeed, this illustrious creature is related to snails. However, it reminds me so much more of an elegant feathered friend the way it flies through the water. With such grace in flying, one shouldn't wonder if it's related to the owl. Hoo hoo. Who? Nine more donations. Okay, okay, big fish. Played myself yet again. There was no big fish redemption arc. Hefty helping of fossils. So I assume I can't get up here yet. This is going to be like another upgrade. I miss gyroids. I want a gyroid. with me I am like head gaming this real hard and smooth braining too I caught a sea bass oh wait a minute I got one of those already I guess I could sell it for profits. Stonks. Frog! I'm back for more, huh? Must be my winning personality, you know. Weird face, dude. That's a weird... Hey, how'd you sleep last night? This island's so quiet at night. It's almost weird, you know? Chat's been asking me that for the past hour. I mean, don't get me wrong, I slept like a log, but I wouldn't mind some more action around here. Uh... Wait a minute. Back for more... Action... It's fine. No, we're not going to start doing this again. Nope. This is a bad game, innocent game. It's fine. All right, fossils have to be appraised. Vinny, you're the one who called it Hoor Island. Well, it's Dutch. Uh. Let me see here. Hmm, indeed. Who? This is a right megalo side. Take it. 
Wonderful. Um, so it's the Megalosaurus was... Megalosaurus was a relative of the deer, huh? That lived during the Ice Age, long after the dinosaurs. It was also known as the Megalosaurus Giganteus, which just means deer with large horns. Hmm. True to their name, they were deer with antlers spanning roughly 10 feet across. Imagine the majesty. While smaller than many dinosaurs, they were nonetheless very charismatic examples of megafauna. Interesting. Smegmaloth is a megafauna. T Rex skull. Nice, I want the T Rex. Okay, so wonderful. Here we go. Um, I'd say the T-Rex is the 800-pound gorilla of the dinosaur world, but it most likely weighed well over 9 tons. This fearsome chap is practically synonymous with the word dinosaur, and for a good reason. At up to 42 feet long with banana-sized teeth, it was one of the largest carnivores ever to walk the Earth. It's unclear how fast T-Rex was, since estimates vary wildly, but I'm relieved I will never have to escape one. Ooh. Well, who to you? Vinny, you can select multiple fossils to appraise at once. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, and then you press confirm. Okay, I see. Uh, Alright, that'll be easier for the future. Don't have to go through the text as much. Petra body, splendid specimen. If you praise multiple fossils, you don't get the descriptions. Well, I like learning about dinosaurs. Dinosaurs were my second favorite thing behind space when I was a kid. Wonderful. Okay, so... The mighty... Pteranodon. Among the very largest animals ever to fly, they were the role models to all of us, with a wingspan of over 23 feet in some cases. I find it simply stunning that they ever did more than glide. Give dactyl. But fly they did, soaring dynamically and dramatically over land and sea. Wish I could have seen it. Give dactyl. We'll have the bigger museum in no time, but are you- we should scoot now. We should see if we can get scoot. I don't know how this system works. Welcome to your one and only gateway to the skies, the Hoor Island Airport. Nice to meet you. I'm Orville, ground crew for Dodo Airlines. Dodo Airlines, the crew may be flightless, but that doesn't mean you have to be. If you want to visit another island or invite friends to this one, this here's the place to do it. Oh, and we've also got a mail service at this airport. Sometimes a letter is just better, you know? If you want to send someone a note, take a gander to your right. We've got all kinds of cards at the card stand. By the way, you're Vine, right? It's a small island. Word gets around. So, Vine, you got anything to tell me? Aunt right, visitors. Ah, you want to have company over. Sounds like fun. The first time you connect with folks on another island, this isn't the correct thing to do. How do I get scootin' here, motherfucker? Chad, how do I invite Scoot? Campsite, which you don't have yet. Oh, never mind. We'll get Scoot. We have to be patient. I have to be patient. You guys are fine. You'll, you'll be okay. I... We'll get that little green motherfucker with his stupid little helmet.
They're gonna have strength competitions, him and the gorilla, and Scoot's gonna lose because the gorilla has big strong arms with muscle, and Scoot has little tiny flaps. It's a Japanese child's swim cap. Alright, so it's not a helmet, it's a swim cap. Oh, is there still furniture in trees? Possibly. Yeah. Also some coinage. Yes! Dolly. What? Someone said they got a toilet. Options here. Welcome to Nookstop. Let's see. Your account is now registered for Miles Redemption Services. We hope you continue to enjoy the many benefits of the Nook Mileage Program. How do I upgrade the Super Shotgun? Nook Miles Ticket. Take this ticket to the airport to participate in a special tour. Interesting. Oh, Custom Design Pro. Cool. App will be updated. Pretty good tools for 3,000. Tool ring is essential. That's going to be nice. Um, carry m more items. Fuck that. Yes. The tool ring sounds nice, though. Does that free up the space? Or does that just... Doesn't free up the space. Ah. Hairstyles. Um, here's some things you can get. Some rugs. I like this rug. Flooring is cool. Very basic Animal Crossing stuff. I'm saving up for the pocket organization guide, I think. Still going to try to save for that. The tool ring sounds nice. So, so those are the two that I'm looking to get. Tool ring is essential. Been, I'd paid off the house debt already. Get, get the ring now. All right, sure. It's essential. Okay. I, I like how he needed a card to figure out how to do this. When I'm outside, I can press up to use the tool ring. Yeah, that will be quite helpful. And hey, I get miles just for... Oh, for fishing. And probably also for this. Someone likes to hide furniture in trees. Who is this? Whomst hides that? Vinny, you can get the ticket now. Whomst the fuck so ever would hide furniture in a tree? Okay. Sell clumps of weeds. I need to sell 20 weeds. That's easy. Plant trees. Plant flower seeds. All this stuff is pretty 
It's just like little guided goals to get you miles. Seems like there's a million ways to get miles, which is great. Write something on the board? Oh, I did that already. Yeah, I mean, it just... Like, the original Animal Crossing, I ran out of things to do. It seems like there's not really that... Like, it was just getting the same glove for the same villagers over and over and over again. And some other stuff, like, you know... You could play NES games in the original, which was the big draw. Honestly, if the NES games weren't in the original Animal Crossing, I might not have even bought it. The fact that there were like a ton of NES games made the, the whole thing seem worth it. And then I ended up falling in love with the actual game itself and not just Wario's Woods. That would be nice. I mean, I would love if there were still some NES games in here, but... Luckily, Animal Crossing in and of itself is addictive enough that I don't mind. It's fucking weed-selling champ over here. Almost done, almost done, just gonna sell a couple more. Weed Picking Simulator 2020. Meanwhile, I have a VR headset sitting in a nice... Okay, so I ordered a microfiber, like, sack, right? And I wasn't sure what dimensions would fit the index. But I wanted some place to store it that was, you know, like to prevent any kind of bullshit and dust and all that. It was cheap as fuck. It was like 10 bucks for two. So I said, all right, let me let me do this because I want to keep this thing safe and not get anything scratched or dust in it. Um, got it. Fits perfectly. It's it's like a snug fit. It was the most fortuitous thing ever because it didn't look like it was going to fit in there. It's perfect. It almost could have been designed specifically for the index. Like a glove? There's that Jim Carrey again. That motherfucker keeps showing up in my dreams, asking me about dinosaurs. Can you link it? I can tell you about it. Um... So you have... Yeah, alright. I don't think Amazon's... That was terrible, I know. Um, I don't think Amazon is... currently... shipping anything that's non-essential. So maybe now's not the time to get it. But if you have a Valve Index... I feel like this was a perfect thing for me to get. It's microfiber pouch. 11 by 14 inch 2-pack. There's also... A smaller one. But don't do that. Get the 10, uh, 11 by 14, even though it says 10 by 14, which is weird. Whatever that one is, it'll say 10 by 14 and 11 by 14. Just, that one's good. It fits the index perfectly. Did you buy Half-Life Alex? Um, it, the index came with a copy of it. Vinny, on an unrelated note, would it happen to fit a human head? Well, <clears throat> let's find out. I have this other one here. No, but you can wear it like a Link hat. I don't know why you're asking such questions, chat, but... That's, um, a little disturbing. I don't know why I'm pressing the button this fast. Like, I've been- every time I pick weeds in this game, this is how fast I press the button. 
Like, why? Why is it instinctual that I must do that? We gamers are really a rare breed, aren't we? We must be preserved and protected, according to Congress, I guess. And they could skip from level 5 to level 7. It's unbelievable! Seventeen hundred bells, yeah? Fine. Short amount of work like that. It's nice that you can finally sell this crap. Some, some fishing. Just another two thousand. 2,000, and... Alright, here's the belt. The tool belt. Right. Um... That's cool. Good feature. Soon this will be where my home is. I can't wait. There's apparently tarantulas that can appear at night, so I want to catch them. Yay, rock. Living rocks. I feel- I feel good when I play this game. It's a, it's a nice feeling. Common butterfly. They often flutter by. Vinny, any plans for Doom 64 soon? No, I'm good. I've already streamed it four years ago. I'm good on Doom 64. A, a good game. No need. Even with the new chapter, I'll just watch footage of it online. If you want to watch my old stream of it, it was fairly thorough. Tell me about this common butterfly. Common butterfly would have you believe it's but a beautiful fri uh, friend flitting prettily about the flowers. But, bah, I say, they may seem innocent things with their pretty white wings, but they hide a dark side. Common butterfly caterpillar is called a cabbage worm. You see, it's the most voracious pest. The ravenous beasts chew through cabbage, broccoli, kale, and the like with a devastating gusto. And my feathers, their green coloring is truly gross. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. You, they can have all the kale they want. I don't mind. I've only had kale, like, twice where I liked it. And it was maple kale that Red Bib told me to make. It was good. Tonight I'm making meatballs, chat. I have the meatball ingredients. After I'm done streaming this, before I stream later on tonight, meatballs. With some uh, sauce. Very excited. 
I haven't made meatballs in a couple years. I mean, that's one silver lining to all this, is that I'm cooking again. This time without any real instruction, just based on memory or, like, stuff that I think I know how to do. Can't wait to burn my fucking meatballs. Bitterlings hide their, uh, eggs inside large meatball- no, bivalves, like clams, where the young can stay safe until grown. Bitterling isn't being sneaky, no. Their young help keep the bivalve healthy by eating invading parasites. It's a wonderful bit of evolutionary deal-making, don't you think? Each one keeping the other safe. Though eating parasites does not sound like a happy childhood. Is that why the fish are so bitter? Highly in loach. Loaches are a large group of f bottom feeding freshwater fish because there are so many species, it's difficult to generalize about them all. The one thing they have most in common, or the one thing they all have in common, is perhaps their most unappealing trait, the name Loach. Repellent, isn't it? They should have just called it the Cockroach. Cockaloach. Cockloach? Oh, I see what you did. That's not really... Well, hey, the word cock is an animal crossing. It's funny, right? We're all adults that find things funny, aren't we? <clears throat> Been done with that, a wa- Loach, loach, just tastes terrible in the beak. Absolutely hilarious. Even more so that I pointed it out. Almost ready for museum expansion. Vinny, what in the fuck hell are you streaming later on? Probably Doom. Vinny, what's the appeal of this game? I don't know. I can't explain it. Just look. <laughs> Just look at it. It's chill. It's great. The progression's nice. You just, you know, hang out with some villagers and collect some fish and relax. And there's always progress. You're always building towards a better house, more furniture, getting the best furniture pieces, more clothing, upgrading your town, upgrading all the buildings, hanging out with Scoot. It's just, it's hard to explain, really. There's just so much that... I think is great, but I guess I do also understand why there is confusion about the appeal of this game. I do. Because if someone just told me that on the outset, I'd be like, what? Like I said, had the original Animal Crossing on, on um, the GameCube US version didn't come with NES games, I might not have ever investigated the series, and I would have been missing out. Yeah, I don't like this. Nope. Not, not at all. I'll, I'll keep it in there for now, but fuck, I don't want it. It's cursed, you can't remove it. It'll be in a different spot next time I play the game. And I'll, I'll be like, wait a minute, I didn't put that there, did I? Chat's gonna be like, you totally did, Vinny. We need some new species.
I believe there's miles for just selling random stuff that you find on the beach. Beach scum. Daces are out tonight. In spades. Dace of spades. If you like to gamble, then baby, I'm your man. You win some, you lose some, it's all the same to me. Centipede, 99 more, and I'll have a dollar peed. Don't joke about these things. Not funny. Didn't laugh. Vinny, didn't you have a nightmare about a centipede? When don't I have a nightmare about a centipede? This will be one of those times where Blathers and I really see eye to eye. He gets it, man. You get it, man. What a wretched thing. See, in that case, the centipede's name means 100 legs, but I'll tell you now, that's a lie! These ugly bugs can have as few as 15 pairs of legs, or as many as 171. But because of how their bodies are segmented, they never have exactly 100. Who? it's true. You know what else is true? Centipedes are carniv carnivorous, aggressive, and venomous. And their bite is quite painful, too. Horrible things, I say. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. You know what? The fact that the number of legs isn't an even number, is equally horrifying. Dace does not sell for a lot. Kind of a fucking trash amount of money for selling, um, those fish. The number of pairs of legs it has are not even. Oh. Okay, I see. I misunderstood Blathers. This, you know, the talking owl. I like that the light of the tents gets more intense as you get near it. It's a nice feature, isn't it? Uh, didn't I just see you over there? You, you know... You don't have a twin, do you? What's the latest? I was crazy busy on my first day here. I was like, unpacking, moving stuff, tornado, you know? But wow, you know, just moving... Just knowing I'm revving up a whole new life's got me grinning like a total fool. 
Everybody had a good year. Everybody let their hair down. Everybody had a... Everybody put the fool down. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I've been listening to Let It Be. Specifically, Let It Be Naked. Best version of Let It Be, in my opinion. Such a good album. So when she said fool, it reminded me of a lyric. But a yellow perch. These yellow birds, those yellow birds have to sit somewhere. Okay, so that's one of two things I need. Three hundred miles. Pesca Pro. Pescado Rabioso. I should water these flowers, no? Wait for the watering can to fucking break. You know, from too much water passing through it, I guess? They're glistening, chat. Look at that. It's fucking beautiful. No need to water the trees, right? again. We might need some more ocean fish. So awesome you're here. I feel like cool stuff just kind of follows you around, you know? So yeah, don't be a stranger. I want to know all about the wild things you get up to, you know? Some... Alright. I was trying to water the frog, but I couldn't do that. There's definitely easy innuendo jokes here. Of course, gotta be above it. Squid. That's a, not at all where you wanted to dig. Where I wanted you to dig, no. One more thing, man. Just one more fish, one more bug. Not a lot of bugs to catch aside from those butterflies and that one centipede and the pill bug, but I'm sure there's more. I'm sure there's more on the island somewhere. Hiding. Hiding behind little rocks.
Why is the sand squirting, says a chat member. No. That was a new life form. That was a new butterfly. This is in the service for more miles. There it is. Yeah, I was wondering about that one. Selling random beach trash. Go ahead and be shellfish. 300. Past master. Oh, it's still here. Yes! Caught a moth, and I had a ball doing it. Items. Two. Donate. A moth. Wretched thing. Many think the moth is strictly a nocturnal creature. Last. Oh, these frightful fluttering beasts have been known to haunt the daylight and twilight hours, too. Thus, there is no time of the day one might escape the moth trade I dislike most of all, those feathery antennae. The mere thought of them gives my feathers goosebumps, and I am no goose. Good. Hello, Perch. Okay. Yellow Perch is certainly worth squawking about. I find it a sight to behold. Wow, such a difference between insect and fish talk. That jagged dorsal fin, those brilliant stripes, those glorious colors. Who truly is quite a specimen. I would be thrilled to witness it firsthand in its natural environment, but the Yellow Perch's peak season is winter, I'm afraid. So very afraid of winter's biting chill. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. I do believe this means... Yes, huzzah, hooray, we have acquired the number of specimens required. My feathers, I'm at a loss for words. Never would I have imagined we could reach our donation goal on this, my very first day on the island. The generosity that made this possible, the passion, I am humbled by the spirit of Hoor Island. Now we can submit our application to build a proper museum. Oh my. I must make haste and prepare for the museum opening. So much to do. Thank you so very, very much, Vine. No new donations. Requests for fossil appraisals are still welcome. Um, I guess the rest of this is me just getting miles now. So I can get the inventory upgrade. Catch a horse mackerel. Complete DIY projects. Grow fruit trees. Plant flower seeds. Well, fruit trees is easy. Plant one of them fuckers right here. Oh, right. I have to dig a hole first. Yeah, 
Okay, just need a thousand more. To pop balloons, that would have been nice earlier. Plant flowers, plant trees. Wait, I have another one? Oh, for claiming, probably for claiming the bonuses. Fruit roots. Oh, for planting more trees. Oh, every time you plant a different type of fruit, you get a thing. Wait, there's more? Nook miles for miles. Well, this is turning out to be a whole lot easier than I expected. Just 500 more. Three DIY projects. I want that little birdhouse. We can do the mirror. So mirror. Bonfire plus wood. Or craft uh campfire plus wood. I need just a bunch of different woods. Respect wood. It's miles for miles. I can see for miles. Probably get miles just for like beating the shit out of trees. DIY project is going to be me crafting a new axe after this one bre breaks. That happens a lot to me, doesn't it? John Tendo is listening. Bill Trinan is listening in on the other end from the, the Switch microphone on the controller. I know it's happening. Can't fool me, Bill. Oh, I got a mash to make the DIY go faster. I keep forgetting about that. Furniture does take up a lot of room, so I don't want to have it be, like, too in the way. Looks nice, though. Outdoor furniture is one of the better new features. I mean, there's a lot of cool new shit, but I, I love the idea of outdoor furniture. It's going to make islands so much more interesting and fun. Place the mirror now, and then I'll claim my miles. Just all the stuff. They're new haircuts. Can't tell if these are... No, these are probably just the same ones. Face paint? What? Ah. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, this is going to lead to some fun. People are going to have a lot of fun with this. Perfect.
5,000 we is. Inventory space is going to be a godsend, especially considering you end up carrying a million tools. They're tools. Sweat marks for Tommy Wiseau. Just melted skin. Brilliant. Oh, that's how I can carry more things. Thank you, card. A whole other row! I wonder if there's even more inventory space that can be expanded. Not now, of course, but eventually. Eventually. Cool. That's good. That was my one of my main issues with previous Animal Crossing. Not enough inventory. Now you can stack more things and you have expanded inventory. That's good. About my home. Your home will be ready by tomorrow. So what should I do? This is the question. By the way, thank you so much for finding a place for blathers. You're looking for a practical suggestion. Well, your lovely future home is already under construction, so perhaps it's time to start thinking about furnishings. Informations? Check Nook shopping at the Nook stop. Oh, you just want to make more money, don't you, Tom Nook? Smart. Where's the competition? Where's, a uh, Took shopping? Peregrine Took. Shopping network. Is Scoot coming back? Not until I unlock the campsite. So we might not see Scoot for a while. Um, so chat, any... Any ideas? Any good suggestions for what I should do now? Aside from... You know, make some meatballs? Get 30 of each kind of wood for tomorrow. Not a bad idea. Sure. Make a ladder? Oh, we're not doing that. Visit a random island? Can you do that, like, not with people? Like, I remember there was a way to just check out random islands. Visit an island. Okay, yeah, I want to do that then. Let me just pick up some wood to respect. Vinny, you have to buy the tech ticket. It's the mileage ticket. Oh. You have a free one. Oh, okay, cool. I like how everyone's an expert on this game. It's only been out for like a day. Or a couple if you're, um... You know, lascivious. Or just found it early. Or a reviewer. In which case, you don't even know how to cross a river. Oh, shot easy joke. Low-hanging fruit. Animal Crossing joke. Low-hanging fruit joke. Get it? No, I, I don't get it, Kermit. Please explain. Waka waka, welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> 
Fozzie, you've been at it for 30 years! You're not getting any more subscribers, Fozzie, stop! Come on. Oh, what, Fozzie, what? Come on. Come on. What, Fozzie, please, what? It says applesauce. Finny, what is the applesauce thing? I don't get it. Fozzie doesn't either. Fozzie's not even in on his own joke. I still can't believe the timing of this game's release. It's just kind of mind-boggling. Some kind of cosmic coincidence. Damn. How are things in New York? Crazy. A lot of places closed, a lot of panic, but mostly... That's in stores. Outside, it's kind of chill. It's, it was a beautiful day out, so a lot of people were hanging out, like, at parks, outdoors, you know, keeping apart from each other, of course, but... Mostly, uh... Kinda calm, surprisingly, but just a lot of closed businesses. A lot of people are actually taking the quarantine thing serious. It feels lonely, it does. I mean... Today would have been a nice day for me to, like, hang out. If Animal Crossing wasn't out, I might have actually gone to a... ...a park or, like, a boardwalk or something. Um, even just going for a drive is nice. So thank God I can still do that. Like, this isn't the mist. You know what I mean? Oh, I hate these, too. Wharf Roach. It has no peer. Oh, I get it! I guess I'm gonna keep that Wharf Roach in my fucking inventory for a while. Mr. Wolf! 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 You can place them down. Alright, yeah, I can place... Place it in like a little container here. I'm also going to drop some of this wood. Should have done that earlier. We're gonna go check out that other island. Vinny, you can preload Half-Life Alex now. Cool. I will do so. 
I have spoken. Bring some spare tools just in case. 63 gigs. Oof. 48 gigs. What are we talking? Oh, 48 download, 63 unpacked. Okay. One spare tool for whatever island I'm going to. What, what would I need? I mean, nothing actually. Shovel for iron ore. Redeem my free one. I want my free one. Just, it's at the airport? Okay. Alright, I, I gotcha. Alright, let me, real quick, let me just make the thing I need to make then. I'll make another shovel. to airport. Okay. I will. I will. I'll just make one more thing. One more shovel. That requires hardwood. Someone said if Scoot is on the island, I will eat my shoe. Scoot will be on the island, mark my words. And if he's not, then I will do nothing different with my life. I'm a boring streamer. What can I say? What about the clown? And what if the clown is on the island? Do I want Clown Island? What about Stitches? Is there anyone in chat who's named Sti uh, Snitches? On their Animal Crossing file? Because Snitches get Stitches. This game, <laughs> aside from voice cracks, this game is is making me, forcing me to tell bad jokes. <laughs> Nearby island on local play, right? Right? Is that correct? I have to go online for this island? So I want to fly... ...via online play? You get the free ticket after your house is built. Go talk to Nuke. Well, I can't afford the Nook Miles ticket. So I'm waiting for my free one. But, apparently when house is built, you get it. Chat lied for the first time ever. Sorry, Vin. <laughs> can't believe it. 
Nah, nothing from Tom. Tom Nook, more like Tom Foolery. I mean, I could probably spend some time getting uh, more more miles and things like that. Or I could go make some meatball. I'm not sure yet what I want to do. Vinny, play Doom Eternal. You're too stressed to make puns. Um, let me think about this for a second. Oh, let me plant some more flowers at least. That's easy. Clam and collected. This dude wants clams. So, f yeah, flowers and a tree would be some easy ones. Cedar sapling. Just one, please. Yeah, what else you got here? Um, DIY for beginners. Do I not have that already, chat? Flimsy axe. I think these are repeat recipes. Vinny, no you don't. So I'll just buy this to them. He'll tell you if you have it. Oh, I see. Okay. I wonder if you can just download these recipes off like the... What's the Animal Crossing equivalent of the dark web? There's got to be a joke in there somewhere. The spider web? Red. Oh, red. Oh, yeah, the red market. Red web. Crazy Red's web. <laughs> We're trying so hard, chat. Me especially. So we got hay bed. Ocarina. Huh. I don't have enough clay for that. Old-fashioned wash tub. Complete for any witcher. Wooden block toy. Stone stool. Frying pan. Okay, just a couple of really basic recipes. Red tube. <laughs> That's where you get it. You get your custom. You can download DIY from Red Tube. It's official. I mean, a lot of the appeal of Animal Crossing is that there are things to do in it every day. So right now, I'm just like... ...wringing every last bit of content out of today. It's a good, um... ...stuff here, though. Claim that. Claim that. What's this one? Chop down trees. Just one tree? Okay. I guess I need to eat uh, fruit for that first. Oh, and then I get... Okay, then there's wood. Flower power. We might even be able to get the ticket tonight. Like, in the next ten minutes. 
halfway there. Living on a... What was that one? There's a new one. Exterior decorator. Oh, I just need to drop one more item outside for that one. Bell ringer. Based on how many bells you've spent, that's easy. Yeah, there's some really, really easy ones. Why can you can eat up to what is that top left thing there? How do I chop this fucker down, chat? It's for energy. You can't cut down a tree without an iron axe. Okay, never mind then. We won't be cutting down trees anytime soon. Just collect wood instead. Talk to Frago. You again. Is this island not big enough for the both of us? Do we need a bigger island, you know? You met Blathers yet? Wow, does he ever love talking about fossils and fish and bugs and stuff. Like, he never stops. He just keeps talking and talking and talking. You do learn a lot, though. Where's, uh, Donkey Kong? I look in chat, the first thing I see is, oh my god, it's face. Yo, welcome, relax, make yourself at home, hoo hoo -ah. I was kind of hoping life on the island would be more of a survivalist challenge thing, hoo hoo -ah. Like, uh, I thought there'd be big scary dinosaurs exploding volcanoes and typhoons every other Tuesday. Never thought I'd meet someone even half as awesome as I am, but here you are. So pumped we live on the same island, our co-op muscle workouts are gonna be legendary. Check it out, these clothes were made with movement in mind. That's exactly what I need. My clothes have to stand up to rigorous training, just like me. Vinny, you can eat up to ten cherries. You can lower the meter by sitting on a toilet and taking a shit. I wish I was joking, but you actually get dialogue when you sit on a toilet with your food meter full. Mental. Oh, fuck. Chat, look at that thing. It's a, it's a tarantula. Oh. I got miles for that. Worth it. Don't move until it stops rearing up. Oh, that's how you handle that? Um... Screw it. Hey, yeah, boo-boo! I don't do a Yogi Bear impression. In fact, most of the impressions I do, I don't do impressions of. Okay, what's this next one? Catch bugs. Bell ringer. Something to do with being a bell end, I'm, I'm sure of it. I'm going to assume the tarantula is gone. God damn it, frog, why didn't you help? It's 
So this one's um catch a horse mackerel still, catch a moth, catch, catch on trees, catch bugs. That... Just catch a bug, really. And a moth. And getting miles is not that difficult. It's a little time consuming, but there's plenty of ways to do it. Grow fruit trees. Should I save the money or should I go to the island tonight? You know what? Fuck it, I'll make that decision. I'm gonna go to the island tonight. Oh man, I need a... I missed that thing. Yeah, my net broke. I couldn't get it. It's no vine blind. Silly chat members. Forgot that was another easy one. should still be there. Um, I'll check. Uh, now that I've- now that I've gone in here, maybe not. Oh, you have to actually collect the wood first. How much was the ocarina? It was like five. I only have three. Look, chat. You can't hang things on tent walls. Fuck. Probably gonna need another axe, too. Moth's name is Jerry. So, uh, Moth walks into a podiatrist's office. Says, Doc! My life's in shambles! My name is Gregor Ilavidovich. I'm not gonna do the moth joke. You don't deserve it. I don't deserve it. None of us deserve it. Are you capable of telling a joke like this? I don't think so. No, probably not. I've done it before. It probably was bad. Norm can do it. And only Norm. Someone said there's jokes in this stream? Not usually.
All right, let's go. I did it. 2,000. Let's hope it's worth it. Could be worth it. If there's Scoot on this island, I'm gonna make the best meatballs ever. And take a picture of them. Which is what I was gonna do anyway, but if- th that would be cool if- if Scoot was on the island. It's a how many uh, villagers are in this game? Oh, well over a hundred, right? Four hundred, nearly four hundred. Jesus fuck. So it's like a one in four hundred chance that we'll get Scoot. I'm ready to get you in the sky right this minute, but let's just check you all packed tools already. Time for takeoff. All right, let's get you airborne. Dodo 1, this is Dodo Tower. Wilbur, you copy? We got a walker who needs wings, over. Roger. When you're ready. Okay, have a good flight, friend. When you need to travel, just think, what would Dodos do? Um, yeah, not good things. Dodos aren't here with us anymore. Alright. We are two down and docked at the Target Island. Delta Oscar, Delta Oscar is go. First time getting your pontoons wet on tour? Let me brief you on Mystery Island procedure. First, we run the Finder's Keepers protocol here. Lumber, fruit, fish, whatever. Yours, if you can carry it. Next up, break a tool, forget one. I can requisition you a replacement. Gotta charge your miles, though. Yeah, there's one red line item you need to memorize. You like your favorite latte order. Anything you leave behind stays here. We don't come back to these places, ever. I actually burn the flight plans afterwards. Security reasons. <laughs> Can't explain more than that. I think that's everything. Go explore. If you get into trouble, ask yourself, what would dodos do? Meanwhile, I'll be in a holding pattern here. Get in touch when you need tools or travel. Go catch some bees and chop some trees. Bear. No scoot, but bear. It's like the Dragon Quest Builders 2 island thing. Where you go to like a randomly generated island and you can just bring a bunch of shit back with you. There's Kakanuts here? Oh fuck, yeah, there's Kakanuts. Can I take the whole tree with me? I think I just did. That'll last in my pocket for a while, right? There's, there's cherries otherwise. Hi. Wow, I didn't expect to see anybody on this island. Nice to meet you. I'm Blue Bear. You're from Hoor Island. I've totes heard of somebody, Trey Cool, who's from there. Maybe you know them. Their name is Vine? That's you. Wow, a pair of celebrities on one island. Well, I'm a celeb in training, but it's still fab. Oh, God. The only thing better than kicking back and chilling on an island would be to do it forever. Spending time on the island, on an island, is the best way to find your inner calm and hug it as hard as you can. If I lived on an island, Peach, I'd be the calmest, most relaxed bear, cub, pop star you've ever met. Want to live on my island? Moving to Hoor Island. Oh my gosh, yes. I could move to any old island, but this is way better since you'll be there. You hear that, world? I'm moving to Hoor Island. Yay. Okay, oh my gosh, I'm moving. Okay, uh, so stress. Oh god, is this going to be a regret? So much to do, gotta calm down, center yourself, Blue Bear. Find your happy place, calm down! Whew. All better. Okay, all I've got to do is get this train going, is to talk to Tom Nook. Easy. 
cannot wait to have a chic, chic tweets. Poor island zip code. Oh, may as well do a little bit of fishing while I'm here. Harvest for organs. Hit rocks. Oh yeah, hitting rocks seems like a good idea. Should I explode the rocks or just hit them? No, not worth it. Dace, you gotta go. I can make an ocarina now. The fishing wouldn't be any different on this island, right? Just the time of year. Many big fish, all right. Big one. It's a big boot. It's a fucking tire. Got any DIY for this thing? Yeah. I figured. It's just a tire toy. I mean, this island is excellent for raw materials. I guess all the islands would be. And coconuts, of course. The Ocarina doesn't allow you to go back in time, does it? You should destroy all the rocks after you- after you have mined them out. It's not a terrible idea. Let's do it. Gotta go into the Goo Goo Gaga ga ga ch <laughs> chair. English is definitely my first language, you can tell. Time out in the Goo Goo Gaga ga chair. Well, I'm destroying the rocks, but I'm not really getting any amazing things from them. Just more rock. Oh shit. Tarantula, round two.
Gotcha. And now you're holding it? Situation's looking pretty grim. There is one more coconut tree. Dig up the coconut trees. There's two more. Let's see the other one. Don't drop. Yeah, I mean, this was definitely worth the miles. I don't regret this at all. This is good. Got a bunch of things. Got some new flowers. Coconut. Tons of iron. Blue bear. Just fine, I, I guess. A pop star bear. Whatever. You need 30 iron as well for tomorrow. Then he shake the trees. What, for, um... Could there be furniture here, too? Let's see, I have white roses, yellow roses, white rose plant. Oh, I need a yellow rose plant, I see. There can be furniture here, but you need lots of wood in general. I gotta utilize the tool belt a lot more. Drop the weeds. I'm also going to get rid of... I feel like we don't need as many red ones. Just so I can have a little bit of extra inventory room. And I'm going to try to find if there is, in fact... Furniture! Anthurium plant. Wow, that was lucky. I want a goddamn toilet. Venus music. You can shake trees multiple times, but the furniture would drop on the first shake, I would imagine. Seems like I already got the thing. Talk to villagers for medicine recipes. Do they have any good meatball recipes, too, by chance? No, I think we're good here. Yeah, I'm gonna get going in a couple minutes, chat. 
I'll be back later. Probably stream Doom later on. Um, possibly finish the Trials of Mana demo, too. We'll see. I'm gonna see how I feel. I might take some of the night off, too, since I've streamed so much now. Not all of the night off, just a little bit. We'll see. Oh, I say take the night off, it's mainly just me relaxing, watching something, or working on a song or something. I may not even want to, just because it'll be boring. Time to plant some coconut trees. It's an instant tree. Where's Blue Bear? I don't know. Probably not for another day or so, I'd imagine. I don't know why I'm crafting this, whatever. Arena, why not? I think everything else I'm good with right now. What else did I get? Yeah, just a bunch of clay and stuff. There's just the freaking tire toy. I now just have a junkyard. How can you do it through the mask? I need to know. Your face might get all puffy if you get stung. Yeah. I've heard of puffy-faced folks getting re-stung and then fainting, so don't press your luck. Carry some medicine. Where's the frog? Frog, you know frog medicine, tell me. Whoa, what's up with your face? Did you get stung by a wasp? Does it hurt? You okay? They can be mean sometimes, or all times. Gotta be careful around them, you know? Um, well, it's kinda too late to be careful now, but you know what I mean. But that does hurt. If I had medicine with me, I'd give it to you. But tell you what, I'll show you how to make medicine my mom taught me when I was little. Frog medicine. Weird frog medicine, though. It's 
game is hard to put down. But I will do exactly that. In just a moment. First, I need to make some medicine! Clump of weeds and wasp nest. Oh, fuck off. Sold all those damn wasps. Wasp. 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 Okay, well, the place is a mess, but we have this. Not nice. Excellent. <laughs> it's not even hooked up to anything. How are they getting power? Are they using solar, geothermal, wind? I don't understand. When do I get to make pemmican and rifles? Oh, probably Saturday. Probably tomorrow I will stream more Rim World. Alright, well that was productive. There's a lot. Tomorrow... Oh, wait, you know what? No, I've got to claim my miles. That's a mile. Sorry. Miles must be claimed. Okay, now we're good. So anyway, chat, I'll be back later. I'm gonna make some dinner, relax a little bit, and then probably be back with Doom. Maybe even the end of Trials of Mana as well. The demo. So... Uh, thank you for watching Animal Crossing. It was fun. It's it's more Animal Crossing, and it's a good one. Eventually, we'll get Scoot. Eventually. So, yeah. Thank you for stopping by early. And um, in the meanwhile... If you want to watch some other streamers, you can just go to twitch.tv slash team slash vine sauce, or just wait here for the auto host. It'll take you to a bunch of different streamers, it's many of whom are live now, my mods, my friends. So watch them, throw them a follow, whatever you want to do. If not, I'll see you in a couple hours. All right. I'll probably do more Animal Crossing tomorrow, just to see the progress. Chances are I'm going to stream this pretty regularly, even if it's only an hour or two. God, like an hour and a half a day, just to see all the other stuff that I get each day. So, um, Animal Crossing is probably going to lead to more streams, especially with all this uh, quarantine shutdown stuff going on. And yes, I'm doing okay. So, thank you all for your concern and for everything else. Good, uh, goodbye. Not good night, but goodbye. See you later.